The oldest, shortest words, the yes and no, are those which require the most thought, said Pythagoras. Sometimes, those simple words that we speak out are more powerful than long phrases we have thought about. And I guess Pythagoras recognized this soon enough. Can you still remember the last time you have said yes to anything? To someone that actually you wanted to say no? Can you still remember how bothering or heavy it was afterwards? I think most of us have already struggled this kind of situation. So let us tackle this issue in this video. And maybe by doing so, next time we'll be better, more conscious on giving a thought before uttering these oldest and shortest words. They as a no. For every yes you give is every no you handed. Meaning whenever we are saying yes to anything, you are letting some of your spaces and our limited time to be occupied. Thus, by saying so, blocking some activities or things and opportunities. A yes to your manager to the project you don't even like to do is a no to the other ones that you truly have passion for. Of course, unless you don't mind disregarding your sleep and just put on workloads in your precious given 24 hours a day in your life. On the other hand, a no to colleagues or friends who ask you regularly to a Friday night out is an opportunity to save money or indulge in your relaxing weekends at home instead, which is in all honesty, probably you enjoy more anyway. We can go on and name some scenarios, but the point is, knowing when to say no and yes is crucial if you want to be more productive and not just busy, if you want to have control of our focus and organization. There are so many ways and advice out there. On how to give a no without burning those bridges that you are still want to probably cross back or forth. The main strategy though is to be firm and honest, but still do it politely. Maybe offer an alternative then if possible. If you can't make it to the given time, maybe you can in the other times. Or well, let's say you are already loaded of workloads and your superior still want to give you an extra one. Be honest and speak out your current situation. I know it is easier said than done, but you have to do it. Or else nobody will know about it and if you are going to wait that they will notice your current capacity, you most probably are just going to be disappointed. So go on and speak out. And even if the response is not according to your expectation, it is still liberating that no matter how hard or scary 
to deny something or someone, you can be honest with your answer. But also remember, sometimes I direct and simple no should be enough in some scenarios and anyone who respect your boundaries will understand that. So the next chances that you have the option to say yes or no. Take your time and think before you take your option. And remember to give your honest answer. And if it's a no, you are not not nice person. You are genuine and one who knows his or her priorities. Thank you so much for watching again and listening again to this video. Again, if you like this kind of videos, please give it a like and subscribe. And thank you so much to all of you who are my subscribers already. I want you to know I really appreciate it. And if you're not yet subscribing, please do. It really helps the channel. Again, thank you so much for your time. Until next time. And as always, God bless always.